guys. So today's video, I actually have the lady. So unfortunately for you guys, this one is actually going to be dedicated to the ladies out there because this yep. is going to be the monthly female fragrance review that we used to do all the time. We're just trying to bring this one back. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, so we got to cater to the ladies every now and then. So today's review is actually going to be from the house of, how do you pronounce this here? Swarski. Swars, sorry? Swarski. Aura. So, all right. <laughs> so this was launched in 2011. The top notes of this fragrance are rose and lychee, with the mint being tuberose. Mm -hmm. The base is musk, amber, benzoin, and pink pepper. What do you get out of this one? Okay, so I think for me, Chad gets a lot of rose out of this. Oh yeah, lots. I'm not so sure if I understand it to be rose. I think that's my problem with it. Okay. Uh, I get the pink pepper and I get the tuberose and I think I get some of the lychee. My I could be very well way off on this one. Um, usually I'm able to pick them out right away, but I think that this one I'm confused. And I think it's because I'm confused with the rose. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. there's definitely a lot of rose in this one. Mm-hmm. I don't know what lychee smells like. I know what it tastes like. Yes, Thanks to my brother-in-law who is Chinese. <laughs> but I get like that fruity vibe. So yeah. like from here and from your skin, I get like a fruity, f uh, rosy type of concoction. So, yeah. Um, do you like this one? Yes, I do very much. I know it doesn't get a lot of love. Not according to Fragrantica. Yeah, I do really like this scent. I mean... I don't usually like the harsher scents. This this smells, it, it, it'll cut through the cold, for sure. <laughs> um, and usually I like the lighter, fresher, floral, creepy, okay. <laughs> you know, those kinds of scents. All right. Those, I feel like those are more light undertone, but it's still welcoming and it's still, still inviting. This one's really nice, and I think that that's what, I don't know, I kind of like it for more partying. Not that I party, but... No, but know. I know what you mean. It's yeah. not like a going out type of scent. Exactly. Like, it's okay. a really great date night scent. It's a good... You know, like, if we are going to a party... It is strong, though, let me tell you. I'm not sure if that is an eau de parfum or... Well... Yeah, it is, actually. So it's an eau de parfum. But maybe that's the reason why it's so pronounced. Maybe. It's, it is... This definitely does fill up the room, I find. Well, when I first got that, Chad got me a decant from Decant Shop, and I fell in love with it. And then he got me another one, just because I didn't necessarily want a bottle, just wanted something small to keep using. And then, thanks to Robes Away with his discount code, I actually found this one, so. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, occasions you said it was like a kind of like a going out party type of fragrance. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, I think for younger girls, you could use it for clubbing. I think it'd be very good. I mean, it fits into the par whole party element. Okay. I have worn this to work. I didn't turn anybody off by it. Usually those kinds of fragrances, you do tend to do that. All right. Uh, but I didn't have that problem. Um, I think that it's been one of the go-to scents. It, I, I think that it should be more for dressed up. Uh, it's it's not as refined, let's say, as some of your other scents, but if you want something nice and quick and simple, this will do the job for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, seasons, what would you say? Definitely winter and okay. fall. All right. I'm not so... I haven't tried wearing it in the summer, and as, as you can tell, I've tried this for quite some time now. Well, the summertime may be a little bit uh, potent with uh, the concentration, so... And it, also, that's when I kind of like wearing my Bulgarian. Uh, okay, so. all right. Uh, longevity, uh, what was the longevity like? I would say it lasted, so if I wore it at 7 a.m., it probably lasted till 1. 1 in the afternoon? Yeah. So, just that, just 6 hours? Yeah. Okay, well, how much do fragrances generally last on you then? Less than that. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Not very long. So your so your skin's kind of like a sponge, like it just soaks up the fragrance. Really yeah, long. there. I mean, if you look at the reviews, there might be some of the other fragrances that do tend to last longer on me. Okay. But not as many. Um, people's thoughts. Was there any thoughts on? Like... Actually, your dad gave me a compliment. Did he now? Yeah. Okay. I went to give his dad a hug, and he's like, "Oh, you smell nice." And my dad's not a fragrance lover. Yeah. So he's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not many people were repulsed by this, so that's why I was really surprised when I when when you said it does it doesn't really get much love. Uh, any any other thoughts? Like, did people? Mm, no, not nobody really would come out and give me compliments unless it was a situation like that. Okay. Uh, so, so that one there was a completely unsolicited random compliment. Exactly. So it made an impression. Right? So it's not like you asked people, hey, what do you think of this? Yeah, I think it was Boxing Day. We went there. We forgot some gifts. Yeah. 
Okay. And that's what happened. Okay, so prices on this one was actually pretty decent. So I was originally looking for this one on FragranceNet. They did not have it. They had the other Swarovski or something. Mm -hmm. And that one was like 10 bucks. So I was like, shit, I thought that was going to be a good deal. This one was a little bit more on Fragrance X, was uh, going between $30 and mm -hmm. $40. They had a tester bottle, including this one here. Mm -hmm. um, so, final thoughts. What do you think of this one overall? Like, What would you give it as a rating? Out of how much? Five. Four? Okay. I really like this one. So that would be an eight out of ten. Then. I don't think we would have gotten the bottle if I didn't really like it. I guess so. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else? Um, no, I, I, I really like it. I don't, I don't, I'm not so sure. I haven't read the reviews of the hate. I'm not sure why it got that much hate, but I think that it's worth giving a chance. Uh, and I would probably start off with a small sample before you go into buying the big one, uh, or the bottle. And the bottle is a little bit different. So it's got the, the typical Swarovski diamond. There. Yeah. And you can refill it. Oh, can you know? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I forget how it actually works, or if you just unscrew this bit. But in the in the box, and they gave me a code. I should have the box out there somewhere. Um, but what you do is you undo this, and it's you're supposed to be able to refill it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Which is something that I actually think is cool. Oh, really interesting. Now, originally, I did not know that Swarovski did fragrances. I thought they only yeah. did jewelry. So. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Me so, too. any last words? Hmm. I like this fragrance. I think it's worth trying. Okay. Start with a sample and see how you feel. All right. So mm -hmm. if you want to get that sample, I think Decan Shop's your best bet. I don't. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know any other website that will have it. That's yeah. where I originally got it. So. Yeah, and it was just something that we picked out on a whim and said, "Oh, let's give this a shot." Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is Neela's take on what's it called? Swarovski. <laughs> keep getting that name wrong. Yes. Aura. Swarovski Aura. All right, so we're going to keep doing these monthly uh, perfume re reviews. We're going to see how long we can get that going. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a big double thumbs up. Share the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye now.